Welcome to the Fregelli Automation's YouTube channel. Today we're going over the FCB1 all-in-one control box. But first, a question. What do our speed controllers, a timer relay, a synchronous control box, a rocker switch, and external limit switches all have in common? You give up? All of these can be replaced with a single unit. This is the new FCB1 for Gelly Control Box. This is the all-in-one unit that's going to take your projects all the way to the next level with very little hassle. Let's go over some of the features. First, the box has the normal two buttons on the side. We have a home button and a limit or memory position button, as well as three dip switches. These switches correlate to the number of actuators plugged into the box. Actuator 1 is always on, therefore dip switch 1 is actuator 2, and so on. You can run 1 to 4 actuators on this control box. You must have these dip switches set correctly, otherwise the control box will not function. First, we're going to open the system settings. We're going to make sure that our clock is set to the current time. The date is set to the current date. And then we also have an option to turn sound on or off. Uh, we can decide whether we want to keep the background light on. Next, we go to set the actuators. Once in the actuator settings, we can choose between using inches, centimeters, or millimeters to measure the actuator. Then we can set the overall stroke of the actuator. This is the total length of the unit. I'm using two inch utility actuators. Next, you can see that we can adjust the start and stop positions up to the total length of the unit, as well as adjusting the speed of extension and retraction separately. Once we have all these settings put in place, I recommend homing the actuator via the menu. And then once the actuators are homed at full retraction, run the calibration routine where the actuators will extend and then retract. And then the synchronous control board is set to go. Anytime the actuators are moving, you can press the abort button on the touch screen and stop the motion. Once everything has been calibrated, we can use the manual operation option to extend, retract, or stop the actuators as needed, straight from the touch screen. Now, here's where it gets cool. We have new timer features. So, once again, in the timer settings, you can update your clock time. You can also set interval timing. There is one interval timer where the actuator will extend, wait the allotted amount of time, and then retract, wait the allotted amount of time, and then extend again, and this will go on indefinitely. I set mine to five seconds between extension and retraction, and then went to enable and disable mode and turned on the interval timer to activate it. Next, I'm going into the timer settings. There are five timers that can be set to weekly schedules. This one I have extending at 12.30 in the afternoon and retracting at 3.20 in the afternoon. And I assign that to timer one, I activate timer one, and boom. It's going to do that five days a week. I have it set from Monday through Friday, so on the weekends, it's not going to do any. This is the interval timer triggering the actuators to move, so every five seconds they're going to extend and retract. As you can see, during motion, the actuators stay very, very well synchronized, and they hit the end of stroke at the exact same time.
The box also tracks where the actuator position is and gives that readout on the screen. The box also tracks where the actuators are in stroke and displays that information on screen when no other functions are being used. Now, you can include a rocker switch or two-channel remote into the system that will act as a master override. If you're using a touchscreen to control your actuators, they will still work, but when you flip the rocker switch or two-channel, it will override whatever the touchscreen is doing and return the actuators to whatever direction the rocker switch is telling them to go. Thank you for watching the Fregelli YouTube channel. This has been the function and setup of the new FCV1 all-in-one control box. Enjoy your projects.